Well, joining us now are Chirag Paswan and all of the developments which are taking place in Bihar. You know, the governor is having a meeting now uh, with Nitish Kumar. Do you think it's a done deal now? Do you believe the road ahead is going to be smooth or do you believe it's going to be difficult with the BJP posing more challenges? Definitely it's a done deal, but the road ahead uh, for sure not going to be smooth. Not because of BJP, yeah. but because of Mukhya Mantri Nitish Kumar Ji himself. Right. His uh, ambitions are so high as an individual, not for his party. As an individual, his intentions, his, his ambitions are so high that the road ahead can never be smooth. It was a clear mandate in 2015 also for right. Mahagadbandan. He made the road tough, difficult for himself. But he's and blamed you for. and the Chirag model saying that, you know, you feel it dissident well, BJP candidates brought down the strength I'll, of the Mahagadbandan. And that's haunting you even now because that's what comes up again. I'll take the blame with utmost pride. I feel proud when they say that it was of Chirag model that these guys, they lost selection, they were reduced to number three position. I take that pride when they say this because yes, I mean I contested elections on my own vision document that was drafted by my father, Bihar first, Bihari first. And I was reflecting the emotions of Biharis uh, uh, in that vision document. So I'm happy that the people of Bihar supported me. They supported Bihar model, not Nitish model. But what about the fact that um, there is an existential crisis, perhaps, which Mr. Uh, Nitish Kumar feels? You see what in Maharashtra, you see the efforts by the BJP to break parties. There are talks of some explosive tapes which might come out as well. This being the case, what option did he have? Excuses. These all are excuses. There could be that tape in the next few hours. Well, okay. I mean, uh, so the let allegation them, sorry, is that the BJP is just trying to break. Yeah. Right, his party is trying to break the JDU. He doesn't have much of an option in this situation. Or the remarks of Mr. Nadda, for example. So they must come out clear, no? They must come out. They should have come out within the alliance also. They could have easily sat and sorted out the whole thing. But instead, Mukhya Mantri ji chose to part ways. And I'll repeat, bhai, these all are excuses. Aim is much bigger. He is aiming, he is targeting for 2024 and right from day one. I think today I can say this that no one better than me understands my uh, chief sure. minister. And I said this way back in 2020 itself, immediately after uh, the results of Bihar election, Vidhan Sabha election. I said this that eventually he is going to leave this alliance and he will be aiming higher and he will try to be the prime minister candidate for 2024. From the opposition. One final question. The numbers seem to be strong now, you know, with the RJD. How do you say that it would necessarily be a weaker government? I understand ideologically the problems, but numerically, why won't there be stability till the next election? Because even now, also, it was a stable government. Mukhya Mantri ji himself won't let being being threatened by the BJP is his is assertion. Hey, I'll I'll tell you, a year down the line. The talks will start uh, uh, will start for the prime minister candidate uh, from the opposition side. Mamta Banerjee will have his. Uh, and you don't think he has any chance? In his? Well, I really don't think someone who couldn't Apo even prove himself as a chief minister. Why would anybody believe him to be the prime minister candidate? All right. Thanks very much for uh, speaking to us, Chirag. There you have it, Chirag Paswan over there watching the developments very, very closely uh, in Bihar. He says that there are ideological compunctions which have actually caused this. Uh, to take place and he says that it's not going to be stable going forward. Back to the studio.